Hi, my name is Jamaria Lady J. Darden, and I'm unapologetically a whole vibe coming to you from my hometown here in Lynette, Alabama. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, if you happen to notice, before I begin talking, if you happen to notice, I'm rocking the Brain Snacks with Jackson Mac shirt, and that is because on tomorrow, August 29th, will be one year since their podcast premiered, so I decided to rock their shirt today and I'll learn that tomorrow because I am, I've just been super proud of these guys for what they're doing with their podcast. Uh, Max, Jackson, Dustin, and Andrew, they have done a tremendous job over this last year. And there's been so much growth and evolution with their podcast. If you haven't checked out season two, check it out. Um, they had just finished the JFK Conspiracy Theory series. Plus, they just recently started doing some remote episodes five weeks ago. So definitely check out their podcast. It's amazing. That's not what I want to talk about. <laughs> um, haven't done a live feed in a really long time. So I think it's been since the day trip that I took to Florida at the beginning of July. So it's been over a month and a half since I've done a live feed. So it's been a while. And today I kind of, as I got home from church, I thought in my head I was like I haven't really done a live feed in a while and there were some things that I wanted to say and kind of get off my chest um, that I really wanted to share so here I am I promise you it's, it's all positive nothing nothing bad or anything but just wanted to share and just wanted to talk with you and also do a mental health check-in and see how everybody's doing and everything and just wanted to show my face um, there's been a lot going on lately and I know a lot of people, a lot of you all have had so many different things going on that I'm not able to be present at. I hope and I'm thankful that many of you have been understanding. Starting off, um, in case you didn't know, um, I recently started a brand new beginning with Sirius XM Pandora. Recently started my new journey two weeks ago uh, with Sirius XM Guardian Services. I got connected in their connected vehicles division and tomorrow starts week three of training and it's been an incredible experience in this new beginning not on the radio side of things but you never know what the journey may take me i'm just really really thankful to be a part of an amazing company and have this opportunity to start anew in this new beginning which ironically the month of august is new beginnings also, uh, with tomorrow being the 29th, as you all know, if you follow me on social media, you know, every month for the last almost 27 months since my most, since my last suicide attempt, I always celebrate every month on the 29th, celebrating the fact that I survived another month and how grateful and thankful I am to still be here. Plus with the month of September and suicide prevention month and also suicide prevention week coming up in September, I really wanted to emphasize more on that too as well and definitely will be sharing a lot of insight in the month of September with all of that going on. But um, I really wanted to take a moment to say thanks to so many of you that have been so congratulatory and so supportive of everything that has been going on with me lately, all the changes and everything that has meant so much to me and everything. But the reason why I wanted to kind of do a live feed and not just to do a mental health check-in and not just to do any type of random talk, but it's, it's kind of crazy. I, I noticed in my Facebook memories, I did a live feed exactly six years ago today. And I was talking, I, I, got a ch I had a chance to listen to my live feed. Might even share that old live feed when I get a chance, I um, happen to be a blonde, but I, I talked about how basically at the time that I was talk doing the live, I talked about how much we needed to shift the way in how we communicate to each other and treat each other as people, especially on social media, which is ironic because I think that can translate to where we're at today and how we communicate with each other, how we need to make a shift in the way we treat each other and the way we talk to each other. And how social media has given us the ease to um, say and express ourselves behind the keyboard without really sometimes 
maybe thinking things through and how we approach people sometimes, especially in instances where we're not 100% agreeing with people. Um, but we, there's definitely always room to improve, room and ways for us to get our point across without having to um, name, resort to name calling and insults and all of that. And, you know, I, I, I remember um, in the live feed that I did six years ago, I did talk about how we, sh how we as a people need to um, shift the atmosphere in the way that we communicate with each other, which ironically, my dad did a sermon today called Shifting the Atmosphere, s similar to a sermon that he did six years ago today, titled Shifting the Atmosphere, and that's kind of where it led me to want to do another live feed on this today, because it really got me to thinking about how we how we really can relate, how we as people can relate to each other in ways. Because at the end of the day, despite everything that's going on in the world, despite the things that can be pitted to divide us as people, we're a lot more alike than we think. But, you know, we sometimes allow the differences out there and things to trigger us and put us in a position to divide among us and it shouldn't have to be that way um, we when it comes down to it we all need each other more than we think and we really shouldn't take any of that for granted um, so many things over these over the years that have just been some, sometimes I have to kind of shut myself away from social media at times because we get into these debates and these arguments and it gets really really heated and it's not a lot of constructive conversation. It's not a lot of open, critical conversations. And it's to the point where people get to a place where start getting hurtful. And it really shouldn't have to resort to that point, but it does. And it's sad. But I think I felt led to do this live feed as a reminder for all of us, including myself, that, you know, we could all improve and do better and grow and learn from each other just by talking to each other and and proactively co communicating with each other not arguing at each other not debating or anything like that but just being mindful of how we treat each other and being mindful of you know how we approach each other because like i said you know we all collectively need each other more than we think we all have similarities more than we think, and even beyond the differences that we have, we can still be supportive of each other in ways that we really need it the most. It's really what I wanted to kind of get into it. Um, but also, I also wanted to give shout outs. There's been so many amazing things to happen this weekend that I unfortunately wasn't able to be a part of in person. Um, had some cousins of mine. I got to see their play in Noonan, Georgia um, earlier this month, but they did a second show in their hometown of Macon, Georgia. So to my cousins, Tierra and Daniel and Sandra, I am completely so proud of you. Um, shout out to you guys for your amazing job and your play and living out your dreams. Shout out to my friends, the guys of All or Nothing, on their EP release show that they had last night in Birmingham. I am so incredibly proud of them. Check out their newest EP, which just released. It is amazing. Um, some incredible music. They've Those guys have come a long way. Shout out to the guys of J Time for their incredible show that they had at um, Chestnut Station in Gadsden. Once again, I wasn't able to be at any of this stuff, but I've seen live feeds. Thankfully to a few friends, I got to see video chats of, of you know, got to see some faces that I hadn't seen. And um, I do wanna say, you know, with this new journey that I'm on, I'm not always gonna be present and always gonna be able to attend anything and everything that's gonna be going on for the next um, few months but I am gonna do my best, but I'm always gonna be supportive and I'll do my best to be there if I can be there. Um, because I, I do want it to make it known that even if I'm not there in person, please know that it doesn't hinder 
I support for anybody and everybody that has any type of incredible endeavor that they have going on in their lives um, because life happens we all have different things going on in our lives but you know it doesn't mean that you can't be supportive in other ways even if you're not able to be there in person um, but yeah it's really I that's pretty much it that I've always that wanted to say um, again like I said um, with the live feed that I had um, six years ago which I think I'll go ahead and share that um, pretty much it, it can be translated to what we need to think about in today and thinking about how we communicate with each other and talk with each other and really because we as people we we need each other we're gonna always need each other in ways even if you don't we are not gonna always agree with each other on everything but I think it's important to be able to uh, think about how we communicate with each other and really translate what we want to express to each other in a way that we can be able to listen to each other. It's not a one-sided argument or a one-sided debate on anything. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Um, I know it's been a while. Um, I don't really get a whole lot of time to do lives. You've probably seen more of me in the reels that I post, which for those of you that actually watch, thank you. I appreciate your views. They really mean a lot. Um, and, um, but I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's doing whatever they can to keep themselves mentally healthy and doing what makes you happy and doing what you love that makes you happy. And it's been great to see lately that so many of you are actually um, doing what you love, doing the things that you um, pursuing to do. There's, I, I could go down a list of people who are actually um, working on some amazing projects. But it would take me all day to go through it all and I would forget some names if I were to start calling people's names. But anyways, that's pretty much it for me. Um, I know it wasn't structured or anything like that because it's been a while since I've been on live but I really just wanted to come on here and you know say that I hope everybody's doing well I love each and every one of you um, I appreciate so many of you over this last several weeks that have sent me messages and different things and saying you know um, a lot of kind things um, in support of me and I'm nobody special <laughs> I'm just me but um, your, your kind words about my post and videos and reels that I've posted is meant a lot. So thank you all so much. Hope everyone, all of you have a great rest of your Sunday afternoon. And I'm going to start trying to get back into doing lives more active. I had made a promise months ago that I was going to do a mental health check-in live every month. And I almost came to the clutch where I didn't do it this month barely did one last month but I'm gonna get back into it I'm gonna get back into the swing of everything so I love you all so very much and I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday take care of yourselves and each other and remember mental health matters be the light be the difference maker be kind to each other we really need it